Hi, this is Raylene with Roots Restored Wellness. Thank you so much for joining us today for a group session. And this session is on clearing entities, curses, energy weapons, and any other type of spiritual warfare. What to expect during this session? You will see that the time is 8 a.m. And I will complete this within the day. So it, the session will not take place right at 8 a.m., but I will post on my Facebook business page as soon as I complete the session for those of you who are interested in knowing exactly what time it is completed. In working with um, entities, curses, all of these dark energies, they can cause imbalances within the body. If you're familiar with the Bible, all of the a lot of the healing that Yahshua or Jesus did was in removing entities and demons off of people and I find that they are a root cause for a lot of physical, spiritual, and emotional issues that people are dealing with. There can also be with these portals or vortexes that get put on us. I, If you have these, don't feel bad. It's not something that most of us have asked for or opened portals or done this to ourselves. It's part of living in a fallen world and a lot of these things are on us even before our spirit comes to our body. They can be put on infants in the womb, which I find all the time. And I haven't found a single person that doesn't have some type of spiritual like darkness on them. So again, don't feel like you're doing something wrong if you're on the session and um, things are getting removed. Hopefully, well, I will work to remove as much as I possibly can and as deep as I possibly can. I have noticed that as we raise our vibration, it changes the atmosphere in which these dark forces are um, functioning within our body and they almost have to reveal themselves. So I do spiritual warfare on myself probably every day, if not, I mean, for sure every week, but almost every day. This is a session that I would encourage you to repeat multiple times as you feel heaviness or if you feel lead. If you're doing other things to raise your vibration, it is very common that these things kind of come out of the woodwork. A lot of them are dormant, so they're non-active and they're very difficult to find when they're dormant because they're not doing anything that I can attach to or find. I will do my best to get them, but they are activated at different times and so you may notice that these get worse. And so that would be time for another one of these sessions. During the session, I will also make sure you're fully shielded, which is a great way to prevent against future attacks, current attacks of these dark energies. Let me say it this way. For myself, I am fully shielded and nothing like really ever gets through my shield. However, when I find entities or dark things on myself, they're always pretty much 99.9% .9 of the time something old that's been dormant, that's been there since preconception, that's been there since the womb or even childhood. And again, I work on myself all the time, so I'm constantly raising my vibration, probably why these things keep coming out. So just know that, I want you to be aware I will ground you. We have a magnetic field and so does the earth. We're intended to be connected to that as long as we're in these physical bodies. You can ground yourself by walking out on the earth with your bare feet. There's grounding mats, spending time in nature, but with the world as it is, it's increasingly difficult to ground these days. So I may need to increase your magnetic field so that you can stay grounded and connected to the earth. Another thing that I find, especially on first time clients, if this is one of your first sessions, or if we're dealing with a lot of spiritual warfare is something called inversion. And that is essentially backwards energy within the body. And everything like north is south, right is left, up is down, good could be evil. Even when dealing with pathogens, the body may not recognize these things as pathogens. So I will correct that if you have an inversion present. I will also balance your chakras. Chakra literally means energy wheel. It's an energy center of the body. It's a real scientifically proven thing. I know a lot of people get freaked out about that term. It's not something to worry about. They are energy centers. They power so much in our bodies and we want those to be balanced so that you can process this session in a quicker, more efficient way. There are possible symptoms from 
do it for me doing energy work on you and it's very rare but occasional and so I will mention it some people do feel fatigue irritability you might have vivid dreams or just kind of feel off typical processing times are one to three days if you have it at all normally all the balancing that I do takes care of that so it's zero and then when working with these these dark energies usually they come off immediately but sometimes I well, I'm always in prayer, but I will pray for assistance to get those removed. And if I do that, the longest time I've found for these to come off of people is about 12 hours. So just know within 12 hours of the session, for most people, all these entities that have been accessed and should be completely cleared out of you. So if you happen to have any questions, you can ask those under my Facebook post where I say that this has been session has been completed, please try to keep the questions to a minimum because note that it does take away from my time to do other group sessions, individual sessions, and with my family. And my intention for group sessions is that I'm not spending a lot of time individually with people doing things. So I may have to adjust things in the future if it becomes, you know, if I get tons of questions and I'm spending a lot of time on that. So hopefully you are blessed by this session and I, that is all that I have for you today. So just know that within the next today, this will be done for you. And if you do multiple of these sessions, you don't need to watch the video again, unless you feel like it, you don't need to be present. You don't need to do anything. Just let the process happen. And essentially I pray to our creator and ask for guidance and wisdom during each, each session. And I ask for help in removing these things. They are permanently removed and will not come back on. I removed the entire network. So instead of just picking one little grape out of the bunch, I say let's expose every possible part of this network of darkness. Let's get it all off and remove it so that your body can restore balance. So hopefully you find that this is a blessing for you and I will hope to see you in the future. Thank you.